Hey everyone, I got a comment requesting we take a shot at programming bamboo, so in this video, that's what I'll do. I'm going to walk through the mechanics of bamboo and show how I simulated it with the goal of finding the optimal timing for clock-based farms like this. Now because bamboo is one of the fastest growing crops in Minecraft, the most common and practical farm type is a clock-based flying machine farm. So that's what this video will focus on. However, if you're like me and want to know what the absolute most efficient farm setup for bamboo could possibly be, even if it's impractical, I'll talk about that at the end. For the code, it's important to start with an understanding of how the game runs, so I can mirror that. And I've covered this in my last two programming videos, so I'll run through this pretty quickly. Basically, the game steps forward in time, and during each step, the game does something, like updating blocks, growing crops, lighting up redstone, pretty much everything the game does happens during a step, for every step. Now these steps are called game ticks, and it's pretty easy to make a loop in my program where every time I run through the loop, that kind of acts as one game tick in Minecraft. I said a lot of updates happen during these steps, but the only one we care about regarding bamboo is how crops update. And in Minecraft, crops update in some way when they receive a random tick. What are random ticks? Well, in each step of the game, Minecraft will go into each subchunk and randomly select three blocks to get these random or special ticks. They're called a random because there's a three out of 4,096 chance that a block receives a random tick per game tick. Okay, now that we have a loop representing our game ticks, let's make some random ticks. I just generate a random number between 1 and 4096 three times. Easy. Now that we've got the game part programmed, we can add our bamboo. To do so, we need to understand how bamboo works. Since I've simulated kelp and sugarcane previously, I assumed bamboo was going to be just like kelp. But the more you look into it, the more it behaves like sugarcane. Ultimately, bamboo is a combination of the two, and we'll see that in a sec. Let's go step by step. First, how can we plant it? Bamboo can be planted one next to the other and doesn't need any spacing for water. Sounds just like kelp. Also, it can grow on any of these blocks and it doesn't change the rates. The next mechanics are a little bit less concrete. All I've seen is this paragraph from the wiki. I don't know where this comes from, but from my testing in game, it does seem to be accurate. Let me know in the comments if you know where they found these numbers. Because the actual data values behind bamboo are unknown to me, I had to make some assumptions to fit these numbers. Luckily, it's not that bad. Let's look at what I call the stage. According to this, bamboo can grow between 12 and 16 blocks high. That sounds kind of like kelp. So there must be some mechanic that is randomly setting the first block to a number, and that stage is what determines the max height the bamboo can grow to. For my code, I'm going to follow what I did for kelp, and when I plant the bamboo, I'll generate the base block's stage as a random number between 1 and 5, and I'll set our max stage to 16. That way, if it starts at stage 5, it'll only grow 12 blocks tall. Perfect. Next we have age. For this, bamboo is very similar to sugarcane. We know each sugarcane block has an age from 0 to 15, and has to receive random ticks to increment that age. So sugarcane needs to receive 16 random ticks before it grows a new layer. That equates to roughly 21,854 game ticks to grow one sugarcane. If we reverse those calculations based on this number, we can calculate that bamboo needs to receive three random ticks before it can grow to a new layer. So bamboo's age must range from zero to two. Let's combine these data values to see how bamboo actually grows. When a new block of bamboo receives one random tick, its age goes up by one, right? And once it's at age two, if it receives one more random tick, the bamboo will grow. This new block will be set to age zero and have a stage of one plus whatever the bottom one was. But what happens when we harvest the bamboo? This time it's a combination of kelp and sugarcane. Cause like kelp, if the bamboo reaches a max of 12 blocks tall, if I break that top block, it can grow taller. With kelp, you could keep breaking the top block to get a kelp that is hundreds of blocks tall, but the bamboo won't grow past the 16 block max height. That's similar to sugarcane. So the stage of the block does get re-randomized when we harvest, but not to just any number like kelp. How do we simulate that though? Because we're harvesting at the second layer and not at various heights, we can just pretend it's the same as kelp, because it is for the very bottom block. It's a little cheaty, but works in our situation. Once we break this block, we'll set the age of the base block to zero and we'll regenerate a random number between one and five. In my code, we just need to define a harvest clock interval and whenever it's time to harvest, go around resetting grown blocks. Then just count how many blocks we reset. And that's the basis of the code. 
The last thing I did was add a way to calculate efficiency so we can actually find the best timing. Now there are a bunch of ways we could define efficiency, but I chose to calculate it as the bamboo actually harvested over the max potential bamboo that we could actually harvest in game. Well, how do we get the max potential? The answer is instant harvesting, but I thought I just said it had to be doable in game. Correct. And the simplest way to do that is by standing by the bamboo and manually breaking it as soon as it grows. This is pretty unrealistic though, so I made this micro farm that as soon as the crop grows, it's detected and immediately broken by the piston, thereby proving instant harvesting is possible in game and can therefore be the metric for max potential. So we can restate the efficiency as bamboo harvested by the flying machine over bamboo harvested if we used this micro farm. With that understanding, Let's take a look at the full results. I tested about 120 different clock timings from one minute to two hours. And for each interval, I simulated 1000 hours. So we've got 120,000 hours worth of test data here. And here's our graph. And the data starts off pretty smoothly. That is until we get to about 40 minute harvest intervals. Then it goes kind of crazy. But honestly, that side isn't super useful anyway. The good news here is that we have a peak which means there is an answer to what the best harvest interval is. If you were like me and thought bamboo was gonna be like kelp, you would have thought the graph would look something like this. But since we've now found out that bamboo is more like sugarcane, we can see the resemblance between these two graphs, both giving us actual answers to our main question. If we zoom in here, we see the peak is around 34-ish minutes. And in this test, our max is 96.61% efficiency with a harvest interval of 34 minutes. Then our data starts to go wild around 37-ish minutes. Anybody want to venture a guess as to why this data acts like that? Well, I've got one. First, let's look at this bamboo again. Its first stage is 5, so it can only grow to 12 blocks tall. How long did it take to get to its max height though? About 37 and a half minutes. So looking at our graph again, my guess is that up until this 37-minute harvest interval time, a vast majority of the bamboo isn't growing to its max height yet. We are harvesting fast enough that it isn't a really big issue. But once we increase our harvest intervals beyond the 37 minutes, a lot of the bamboo are reaching their max heights of 12 blocks and then just spending time sitting there, wasting efficiency. My next assumption is why this data jumps up and down so much. And here's the same graph, just with bars instead, to see it a bit easier. I'd say it's because the time to grow for bamboo is so short around three and a half minutes. And if our harvest interval is cleanly divisible by the grow time, that means we're able to grow more bamboo versus if we harvest just a bit too soon. This results in better efficiency. And that's, I think, why we see the efficiency go down then spike in roughly three to four minute spreads. Those are just my theories, but I'd love to hear your explanation. Going back to our original question, what is the optimal clock time for these bamboo farms? I'd go ahead and say 34 minutes is the best and most consistent. I got 96.6% efficiency here, which is really high. That's the optimal time for efficiency. But in practice, that best timing is really up to you. If you don't want your farm running that often, you could easily go with an hour harvest time and still get around 75% efficiency. Bamboo grows so quickly that losses in efficiency aren't nearly as big a deal as they are for farms like sugarcane. So feel free to use these graphs to determine what works best for you. Oh, and to answer that other question, because bamboo largely behaves like sugarcane, we can apply the most efficient sugarcane farms to bamboo. Luckily, I have already done an analysis on the most popular sugarcane farms and found two that achieve perfect or near perfect efficiency. Feel free to check that video out to see them in more detail. All right, I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, let me know with either a like or a comment. Your feedback is really useful in helping me decide what videos I should make. If you do enjoy this kind of video, let me know what kind of crops you'd like to see next. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.